Welcome to Institute of Quality and Reliability. Hi, this is Heyman. Viable analysis of right sensor data with free open source software. We recommend viewers to watch our previous videos related to this subject before watching this video. Links are provided in the description of this video. In my previous video, I have explained the procedure to perform Webull Live Data Analysis of complete data using a free open source software reliability analytics toolkit. In this video, I will illustrate procedure to perform viable live data analysis of right sensor data instead of complete data with the same open source software. The name of the website is Reliability Analytics Toolkit. Link to the website is provided in the description of this video. Hello friends, here are the instructions to download our reliability data file. Please go to our website world-class-quality.com This is our website. On the top you will see the download section. Click on the downloads link and you will find the reliability data link. Click on that and you should be able to download it. It's a zip folder containing the reliability data file. Now you will need to analyze the data using the open source website Reliability Analytics Toolkit. In my previous video, I have already explained how to access the Reliability Analytics Toolkit website. The link is also provided in the description of this video. So please access the website Reliability Analytics Toolkit and scroll down for the procedure for Webull Analysis. This I have shown for complete data in my last video. In this video, we are going to see the procedure for write sensor data. When items under use or under test have performed satisfactorily over time t and not yet failed, such data is called write sensor data or suspensions. We will use the sample data from the downloaded file reliability data to show the analysis procedure. Please access the website reliability analytics toolkit and scroll down for the procedure for Webull Analysis. So click on the Webull Analysis and in Webull Analysis to enter the data there is a box here. The sample data shows some data points for example 20 time units failed F for failed 42 time units S for suspension in this software, for write sensor data, you have to code the data as S. So 42 is not failed and suspension. That word comes from testing usually. We suspend the test. That's how it comes. So S stands for suspension. So we can use this data or we can use the data from our reliability data file. I am showing the reliability data file. The link to open this uh, file is also uh, given in the description of this video. So look at the example 2 write sensor data and select the columns hours and status. Copy it by control C command and go back and delete the original data sample data and just paste this data. So wherever we have F status it is failed wherever we have S status it is suspension. Now, in the choices that we got to make, decimal places is to summary table, we should check by the increment order table box so that we know the median rank calculations. The failure timeline also we can click. The method we will again select RRX because the sample size is quite low. As discussed in the previous video, if the sample size is more than 21 as per Dr. Robert Abernethy, we should use the MLE method. So we select RRX. Time F10 shows the B10 value. That means on the graph you will see the B10 values. 90% reliability or 10% failure point. X axis levels time. Okay. We click on calculate. 
and now you can see the table of the calculations and you can see that the calculations of the median ranks are made only for those points which are failed but the suspensions are used for sorting the data in ascending order here in the first column in the column of hours so the minimum is 150 and maximum is 6890 and there are only five failures and it has estimated the beta parameter shape parameter beta with rrx as 0.76 with RRY, it's a very small difference, 0.75. And then characteristic life eta with RRX is 4.507, while as with RRY, it is 4.667. Not a very large difference. It also gives a parameter estimates with MLE method, which shows that the point estimate for beta is 0.8, with lower and upper confidence bounds. Characteristic life estimate is 5.104 with again uh, confidence bounds given and now uh, because the sample size is less than 15 parameter estimates are based on linear regression are considered more accurate now if you scroll down you can see the probability plot with the confidence intervals the upper confidence limit is given here and the lower confidence limit is given here and the middle line shows the probability plot you can see that there are only five points plotted only the failed points are plotted on this graph. And then there are two points, the faint points, the upper faint point shows the mean life as 5290.58, whereas the lower point shows the characteristic life as 4507.31. On the left side, as usual, you will see the failure probability f of t, cumulative failure probability f of t percent. On the right side, you will see the reliability at time t in percent and f of t varies from 0.1 to 99.9 while as r of t varies from 99.9 to 0.1 and on the top you will see the you will see the estimates here which were seen earlier you can see the other curves like the previous example unreliability plot that is cumulative failure probability with the confidence limits you will see the reliability plot also with the confidence limit. The middle line is the estimated values and then there is upper confidence limit and lower confidence limit. And then you got the probability density function PDF plot. Then you got the timeline of failures. The blue points are salient points, for example, mean life and characteristic life and the beaten life also. And the hazard rate is also given again the beta parameter was 0.75 so uh, this looks like the left side of the of the bathtub curve and you get as usual the equations uh, with the beta and eta values reliability is e to the power minus t by eta raised to beta and then you see the probability density function and other functions formulae and then in the last lines you get the uh, yeah, you get an equation here i'm sorry you get an equation here for the reliability data so if you paste the value of uh, time in a2 you will get the reliability so if i click on excel and open a new blank sheet cell a2 is here and okay let us put 100 hours here and i need to copy and paste that so i copy and paste it and you will get the reliability as 0.94 you can increase this value to let us say 500 and you get reliability of 0.829 at 1000 0.728 and so on so you can get reliability at any point similarly there are formula available for f of t also and then it also shows the hazard rate function the f of t also so you can copy these equations and paste so this equation can be used for uh, probability density function. The next equation can be used for hazard function. So it's a beautiful calculator that it provides for Excel. In this video, we have explained how to perform variable analysis of right sensor data using an open source free software from the website Reliability Analytics Toolkit. Hope you liked our video.
Thanks for watching this video. Hope you found it worth watching. Please subscribe to Institute of Quality and Reliability channel if you want to watch more videos on Reliability Engineering, Six Sigma and Quality Engineering.